Hi everyone, welcome back to hopefully an intellectually stimulating edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Actually, this video will probably be a little bit shorter than the average Weather Geeks video because the weather, frankly, over the next several days doesn't hold a whole lot of super interesting things here locally, but we always find some fun stuff. The atmosphere is always up to something kind of fun and kind of interesting, so we're going to try to find that kind of stuff over the next few days. Our weather pretty quiet this evening, a lot of clouds around. The uh, rain that we had earlier on today has shifted off to the south. It's going to stay largely to our south as we go through the night tonight. So a soggy night down I-77 into Marietta and Parkersburg and down I-79 through the Pittsburgh area and down into Morgantown, West Virginia as well. Pretty good severe weather threat tonight from Houston up through Shreveport over into parts of Mississippi as well. Tornado watches are out and there's been a handful of tornado warnings in western Mississippi during the 7 o'clock hour this evening. High-res futurecast tonight shows it might try to drizzle as we go through the night tonight in a few spots. Don't think it's much more than that. Maybe some lighter rain tries to push in as we head towards daybreak. Not sure if I'm buying how kind of aggressive our high-res model is here with the arrival of some light rain before daybreak tomorrow. That might be a little bit fast. I think what may be a bigger concern is actually the fog. Now, our... Uh, our fog product here on our model is always a little overdone. I don't think the visibility is zero everywhere tomorrow morning, but I do think that there can be some patches of locally dense fog. We've got a couple things going on. The the uh, dew points are actually fairly elevated and pretty close to the air temperature. We also have cooler lake-influenced air not far to our north, so we have kind of a kind of a semi-stationary front nearby. Uh, the wind relatively light, and all of this is a recipe for the potential for some fog. We actually had some local fog today. The visibility was uh, reduced with the low-hanging stratus clouds and local fog earlier on today. All right, our hour-by-hour -hour rain chances on Thursday. Uh, again, starting to come up as we head towards daybreak, but I think uh, highest midday afternoon on Thursday, and it's just going to turn out to be another kind of rainy day. Here we go by rush hour Thursday evening. Front may be pushing through, and a pretty good band of rain with that. Wouldn't be shocked to hear rumble of thunder, probably south of Route 30, and especially from Interstate 70 on south. There could be a thunderstorm before tomorrow is through. All right, that uh, front heads east. Now, Friday behind the front is a cooler day, and it remains to be seen how fast we can get some clearing in here on, uh, on Friday. Uh, we may have a sprinkle or even a flurry at the start of the day. Uh, this uh, latest run of our in-house model here is not super optimistic with the sunshine Friday afternoon. In fact, it tries to make it rain a little bit in southeast Ohio, southwest PA Friday afternoon. Maybe not this far north. That's I'm not sure if I'd buy that just yet, but it is pretty slow with the clearing. It would suggest that we don't see much in the way of sun until the very last minute on Friday. Our current forecast is a little more optimistic than that. Right now, my suspicion is we'll see the sun earlier in the day. Pretty clear sky for Friday night and a fairly sunny start to Saturday before this next system approaches. I don't think there'll be much with the warm front, but as the cold front approaches Saturday evening, we could see some very light rain or some showers uh, for late Saturday into Saturday night. Easter forecast, we've continued taking down the high temperature forecast for Sunday. Now only 40 in the forecast for Sunday. Pretty chilly, and you know, that's despite a fair amount of sunshine. Uh, Maybe a pre-dawn sprinkle or a flurry, but otherwise a, a pretty uneventful day. And, you know, it's pretty impressive to have a fairly sunny afternoon and have a high of only 40 on April the 1st when the sun is, of course, getting pretty strong. So uh, that's a pretty legitimate chilly air mass heading our way. I went back and looked through the records today. Whoops, let me move my camera here. Went back and looked through the records today of the coldest high temperatures on Easter Sunday. You know, there can be a wide variety of weather when you look back through history on Easter because, of course, Easter can fall on a variety of dates. It can be as early as, I think, the 23rd of March. It can be as late as around the, I think it's the exact date in which it could be the latest. It's like the 20th, maybe, something like that of April. Um, so there's like a, you know, three week or so, close to four week window in which Easter can fall. So you can get a wide variety of weather. We've had days in the 80s on Easter, and we've had a high of only 20 on Easter back uh, on March 24th, 1940. Uh, that was the coldest one and easily the coldest one. Second place is nine degrees warmer back in 1970. More recently, you may remember back-to-back uh, -back cold Easters, 2007, 2008. And this year should be our coldest one since 2008 when it was 36 uh, degrees. Wish I had better news in the long range. You know, I've been talking about this ad nauseum. Don't need to show you a whole lot new this evening as far as model data goes because not much has changed. Uh, beyond Easter into the first week of April, a continuation of the general pattern we've had during the month of March. 
which means good chances for below average temperatures, uh, probably several bouts of precipitation as well. You know, we just got to be patient this year, folks. You know, it's not going to be one of those years where, boom, it's we go from winter to spring. It's a long, drawn-out process this year of transitioning from winter to spring, and uh, it's slower than a lot of people, including myself, would like. I'm anxious to get outside and get a bucket of balls and, and that sort of thing, and not going to see a whole lot of days in which, you know, you're going to be ready to bust out the shorts anytime real soon. Hopefully that pattern changes later in April. Again, a reminder, we'll do our April forecast late this week, probably Friday evening on Weather for Weather Geeks and on 21 News at 6 and 11. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you'll check out my update tonight at 11. And I wish you and yours a great Wednesday night.